Hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Jola Graphics and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to design a beautiful simple um Jota design with Photoshop CC 2019. As I usually say, if you're following along this tutorial with any other version of Photoshop, no problem. We can move along and flow along easily. So um if you are new to this channel please before continue just go down there i think there should be a small icon down there so just click on it then you see the subscribe just let me hit that subscribe button thanks okay so um before we start our design i would like us to set um our workspace so we we'll use um the a5 size that's half of a4 by default so the resolution 300 pixel should be okay the color mode should also be rgb then maybe we want to change this to inches then the orientation should be portrait then the art board yeah i'm gonna click it and i'm just going to show you what that art board does so let's get started so here's our <coughs> um our workspace Photoshop. So, um, these are like these are the pictures of um, the couples that we'll be using for the design. So, I'm just gonna check around and find a good picture. I think this one might be okay. So, let's just drag this straight in the Photoshop. Okay. So, we might just try out some pictures, but since i've i've gone through that stage already i've picked different pictures and tried them out and i think this one is superb the best for me to use if you were in my shoes you might have used another picture but okay so this is the picture we are going to be using so basically i just drag it straight into photoshop so um i got this picture from Bella Ninja wedding it's a blog post um, blog website rather so they embed their watermark or is it yeah I'll, call it, I'll just call it watermark so I'm just going to take it out so this is not a real world project it's just like a fictional project just for this tutorial set. so use your clean stamp when you click on it, you use your alt to target the place where you want to use to do the um, to kind of like replicate other places, something like this. Then you just carefully drag on them. It works pretty much like a magic. You don't really have to do much work or start painting them with brushes. So you just carefully and that's pretty much it. Before you know, you find out you are almost done. The pictures, the pictures are looking great so far. Alright, yes. So it does not really matter for the ages since since um you kind of like cover up some parts, it won't really be visible and then the contrast is not balanced and the, so even after print it won't show something like this. Okay, so I think we've prepared our image enough. Um, so I'm just going to create a new artboard. Let's assume um, the write up, the text for the design has been given to me on paper. So I'll just kind of like manually write them down inside the Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to do now. I use the T, I just open and tap T, letter T on your keyboard. Then it gives you this text to all you can just click from here. Then um, type the right up you believe I believe you must be having so for this I'm having conjugal means then the name of the couple as phone shit phone shade and is 30th August 2020 okay so um 
actually this is one of my favorite fonts Raja Pro instead of using Times New Roman I think it's okay for the fact that it gives this kind of royal um, so I'm just going to cut this out and select it like this and then Ctrl X just cut it out and delete, delete so I just um, kind of like make the text start from where the text is starting from so I'll duplicate this one down by holding my alt and then pressing control and I will select everything then since everything is selected if I want to paste is going to paste on it so control B like this control down this so I'm just going to break this down I think I would like to break them um, if I was to be using control it would be somehow easier I just want to control K but Photoshop does not have this kind of option and there's nothing we have there's nothing we could do actually and to just kind of like bear with them. So for the design we'll be using only two fonts. One is Latu, it's a font family, it has different weights. I'll be using Trajan Pro. So for the bliss, I would like to change the fonts to something like my other font, black. I'll use Lato Black, yeah, say font width. So after increasing it like this, you might just want to reduce the spacing to even about minus 20 or minus 40 thereabouts. Let's try and yeah, something like minus 40. Since they are not actually touching themselves. So for the conjugal, um I think it should not be as big. As the place. The world seems small. Conjugal bliss. Conjugal bliss. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. So you say, me. Oh, if you hold control and you select from the empty Remember space, me. you are going to kind of like select like this. Like right and out door. You select Forever like this. So you just kind of like increase the size a bit. Just play around with the size and then drag it. So, with a sense, you should know. I'm sorry if I abuse you by saying with a sense, but common sense should let you know where you would fix this. Conjugal, please. Should it be here? No, I don't think so. So, I think I would like it to be somewhere up here. Up here? No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry for performance of one of the but somewhere like this should be okay. Then maybe you just reduce the front a bit. Yeah, conjugal this like this. And then take it down. Just you and me are meant to be like this. In the great outdoor. One design is as I've said earlier on, try not to use forever much fonts. Um, you could use four with logic, yeah. Like, Meant to be if you could, yeah, you can use four fonts on the end. But for a start, I would prefer to use something like two fonts, and you should use them when necessary. So, you should know, I'm sure you know, I uh, cut the target date outside because I did the same for the conjugal place. So, I'm just going to, um drop this one again making it two lines Ulua Busayo and Abi Fola Shadi and Ulua Busayo so I'm just going to kind of like increase the size then if possible even break them to okay I think there's no need for breaking them you just bring the dates about around it something like this so firstly I think I might need to, I might need to uh, increase the size a bit, something like this. Then pressing Ctrl Enter, we select everything. Ctrl T, we bring out this text pane over here. So you just increase the tracking. It's called tracking, but I don't know. I'm just used to calling it um, letter space. Center it and then just play around with it. 
You don't have to be too serious for other design. Okay. And for this, I think the letter spacing is a bit much. Yeah, it's much. So just reduce this a bit. Then make this space. Then centralize it under the date. This way you centralize it. Centralize. So when you want to centralize, you select the first object, then the second one within your shift. So now you are selecting multiple objects. The same thing applies to whenever you are moving things, you just press Ctrl, Shift, and then two objects are selected instantly. Okay. So this could look very simple, but it's kind of logical. So as for me, I think the right up is okay. But now to bring those text out, we need to apply or apply common sense to bring them out. So I'm going to be using this rectangle to write and then create this. And as for this, I'm going to be picking a color from the skin. Although I've already picked them before, so the way so uh, let's use this color picker. I choose from the color of the hair. Yeah, have something brown from the hair. You could select from other part of the body, but I have this feeling like selecting from the hair gives it this kind of selecting from the body or from the design. Just selecting a part from the design, a color from the design, from the actual picture. I mean. Uh, see from the clothes, from the wristwatch, something very related to the um, to the picture. So we we'll just still try out some basic parts. Although I think I should be okay with one of these colors, right? But I actually pick them out from the egg. So I'm going to just change this to a white color. And then for this, I might just want to mirror it. Yeah, when I see mirror, that's kind of like reflect it. Just press Ctrl Enter, Ctrl A, Ctrl V. Then just kind of like Ctrl T to transform them. Right click, you will not see. If, uh, is it? Yeah, it should be horizontal. Particle should be on the Y axis on the epsilon axis. So something like this. So, and funny enough, we're going to be using the same color for it. I know you can't see it, but that's how I'm going to be using it. So, oh shit, I just click Shift F2, and that's the short cut from Color Drop. And then I think I've just kind of like messed up with the graphics. Okay, Shift 1, Shift F1, just repeat that for me. So, um, the rectangle over here, I'm just, I'm just going to press Ctrl G. So I duplicated it. I'm going to make this a white color, like this, and then kind of like use it to reveal this band that's over here. The end can be over here also. So I'll just arrange this carefully. Once you think it's okay, then it's okay. Then for this part, I'm going to just press Ctrl, Alt, and G so that I'll mask it to the layer beneath it. Then just kind of like play around with it. And once you're contented, you are okay with the design. Like, like this. So, 
I think it's looking like this. It's looking like this. So for this other part also, I want to do the same. That's one of uh, the principles of design. That's repetition. So I'm just going to cut the edges a bit and then do this. Okay, let's see. That's it. Just the end of like this. What happened with that? It's also masked under. It's a layer mask of this other one. So I'm just going to rearrange it till it gets under the conjugal base like this. So the conjugal base also I would like to use the color white for that. So I will just duplicate this part and rotate it and clip it. Then the one beneath it, I think that should be the one with another color. So it should be this color over here. Uh, I don't know if you get if you see what just happened this time. So I use the zoom to actually I'm sure you should know that. So just zoom around. Using the shift and control to so kind of like select the three of them, you can see they are moving together. That means they are selected together. So you use this align button page, something like this, to create this over here, like this. I think it's kind of looking better this way. Then for this one, I'll come with this for the one at the middle like a so just i'll just like to just check around if i can use I'm a kind of lighter color for this i, got I think it's working fine it's clear to see for this one we might we might want to change From one of these colors to something like this also the world seems small this. no that is all we can sit I think it's not looking it's really so bad. Just that I you think the conjugal is somewhat small. So I just reduce the size, reduce the spacing, and the quantity, reduce it to the small font to make it about the amount of space. Just kind of like increase it. I give enough space for all these pages over here, all these pages over here. What I'm doing is just that I don't want um, it's a good practice to just like design this way so that at the end of the day you don't um, end up getting your work cut off at the end of the printing process. Because after printing, you are taking off of 
boost our production as we they will cut the edges of um the edges of the paper and just just have it at the back of your mind so the cut see okay let me know just write it the way we normally do as like right so i'll just like cut c is a cut c let's cut want the couples to be a bit bigger and then reduce this one like this and then align it to the right right to the right like this okay I think is the couple is kind of like huge so I might just reduce the couples um, size no I mean the couple will look not not the children. Yeah, the couple. Couples. Okay, something like this. This shouldn't really be too big. So I might just shift it around the head and kind of like get the rectangle three. Uh, even if it's in the star, I'm not sure if it shit. It's still bringing this out in front of the star. So um and we don't want that as a polygon shape so i'm just going to move this star this smooth corners also so i'm just going to quickly create front cover is almost done so I might just want to add a picture of rings so let's go to I'm sure I don't want to show you guys this but my system is kind of messed up so um, I really don't know where I have my picture of rings so I'm just gonna come and search I should be having some pictures of rings So before then, I think I might just quickly create something like a key order <laughs> where, where, as in, what is going to accommodate the rings. So I might just make this four like a rectangle, um, rectangle, yeah, a right rectangle, something like this. But I might, yeah, I wanted to have this 45 degrees, um, kind of like. Just kind of like reduce it, and then if you want to cut edges, now the um, fly out box is not there. Just um, tap your F8 button, and then go to your properties, and then shit, it's not coming up. I don't know, but it should come out, come up. Yeah, you should be able to like change, make the edges curve. I don't know why it's not coming up, but usually it does come up. Okay, I think that's definitely because I'm not using the actual rectangle tool, which is here. Okay, so let me just read this and then show you what I'm saying. So if you just press your F8 and then come to properties, then you find this one. So you can just make the edges work. So instead of doing this, I'll just transform it. It's, I want it 45 degrees, that is half of 90 degrees. 
like this and then I think it's gonna be good to drag it out and maybe give it out if you just hold it and tap your U again it's going to select that tool and having that tool selected is going to bring you this kind of uh, this kind of windows up here so you just click the stroke click the white and then increase the size of this so something you are working with Something like this, okay. And I might just want to apply um, a shadow. Let's see what we do. I just think I'm okay with this. As now, we can get it. So, having this selected, I'm going to drag in the picture from the window I'm going to be using. So, let me start from the bottom and just check around for the rings. I have some pictures of rings. I think this one might be okay. So just drag this in and for the fact that the background color is kind of like matching with the color we're using. So but that does not really matters, yeah, but we can just use this. So you just what I did, how I fixed it inside this right now was so that I actually put my control and it to the cheap. Having it directly on top of that rectangle layer, this rectangle layer right here. So uh, it was selected when I dragged it. So and um, this kind of like Photoshop looks uh, is the way it works. It actually brings the picture on top of the layer that is actually selected. So you can just have that at the back of your mind. So just do something like this and you can drag it out of it. This, and then the picture of the wedding ring just kind of like adjust it and then for this one over here um, if you check carefully the distance is the this line here so I'm just going to use the transform tool and then make it get behind this it's kind of like okay You could just use your F8 as a video and then go to your properties and then come the edges like this. I think I prefer this way. So that's that. I think we are okay with the cover, just in the control S, but I think there's no need for that. So now the next thing we're gonna be doing is to be uh, focusing on the back part of the design. So at board one. I we'll just rename this cover. Then for this, we we'll name it. Um, if since this is the cover, you just name it back. This back. So like this, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is just make it solid. Right. After using the eye to like this eye to that to make sure that it's with the eye. Then select this color. Any okay. of this color. This color. So we go to this uh, back part of it and put the middle layer. Then the middle layer will be put in this paint for the two. If you like to put it G, that's the shortcut. So you just paint the black layer like this. I think it's the color 
that's there before so something like this so we just create um yeah, can be. this actually something that should be the last thing we should do but i think it's not bad if you try this out right now so for this it's just going to be like yeah, a imprint like a logo or something that like let people know that this design is done by jala graphics so i'm just gonna like maybe print at jala Graphics. Like a bird on a tree. Let me write my phone number 09076615052 like this and then center it change the font size to be something very very small to see something like maybe eight points or so from up here so this is actually ten points the world so we could still small. reduce it yeah something like ten we points uh, eight points or even nine points so just Centralize it's so beautiful. You and me, from here. we meant to be. Then, this I would just like to use this color because I think this background looks a bit light. It's coming out great. Or we could just use this as a white color, and then the shape down should be our base color. I think it's better that way. This audio it might not show really well. Maybe we just have like a little shadow. Sometimes I need to go. It begins to look like a web page <laughs> as I used to tell one of my friends. It's a web designer anyway. So notwithstanding, I think it's okay like this. I'm just gonna shift it up a little so that I don't want really to the uh, risk of losing my input again. So I think this is looking pretty good. So now for the back of our room, I just want to play like a to college since we have been a lot of pictures about how many of them we got about 15 in the great pictures already so we've used only two so um taking six orders might not be bad okay anyway so i'll just like create a new angle so you just have that from the college so I'll just move this. Then I'll just kind of like duplicate it. Like this, like this, and then distribute it also. Oh shit. Um, I'm making a mistake somewhere. So something like this. I'm just going to select layers instead of groups for now. So something like this, and then duplicate it holding your alt although uh, just kind of like for sure for sure okay after doing this I think this person might be a bit too much I don't know why it's I don't know I'm making this mistake of selecting the group so I'm just going to uh, ungroup it ungroup this one also So I'll bring these two down into this layout, um, this group one way, so they are, they will be in uh, the same group. So something like this. So having shifts them like this, I'll still use my distribute and just to put them equally. I think they see mix up right here. Okay. I don't really want the space to be much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be like this. Now you just centralize like this and then drop it down also. And just like this also. Okay, before doing this, I might just want to slant this one by putting my alt and then okay. I'm coming control T putting my alt alt key. I think my alt key should do this now. Okay, sorry, holding my control not hot rather. Then you just kind of like slant it, maybe you place the side if you like, and then centralize it, and then duplicate this once again if really necessary. So, these two layers they will be like something like a college. So, I don't know. 
and to this thing to get away. Okay. So now we are going to use kind of like this one is kind of unlocked. So um, I'm coming let me just put it like this. Okay. So we just I want the pictures to show the faces to show so we just kind of like do this first and then use this layer mask over here and use the black black soft edge brush to just paint over the edges like this and then do something like this again if necessary okay I think we are good to go then we select this layer bring a picture and then maybe we just use one of these pictures by here and then drag it in and then press ctrl and hit G alt G rather and then fix this one here very simple you don't need to suffer yourself you don't need to stress yourself a lot so you just do this So we just keep on bringing in new pictures. Okay, let's see we use this again. Just try and play around and see what this is. You see, now due to the slant of the picture, um, repeating it this way makes it better. So, just just get me pictures. Get pictures. Get pictures. Get pictures. Um, this one also might not be necessary, but. Let's just add it. So as I've said earlier, this is not a real life project. It's just like, although they are real couples, they should be having kids by now. <laughs> so let's get pictures. When designing, you should have like learned to bring concepts out from your head based on what you've seen outside. Like, I didn't actually um, have a reference when designing this, I didn't get uh, to just go on Google find something similar to this. To use. This design should be the first, first design like this ever. So try as much as possible to make the designs very very unique. You can just yeah you can you could go online to get some little motivations but notwithstanding you shouldn't overdo this. So I think the design is getting very 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 okay and I think that's even the um there's nothing much to tell you guys to do but as I've said before, before like in the beginning of the tutorial, I'm going to be um, fixing this in a mock-up. So the first thing I'm going to do is just like basically just save. Let me just save this in a new folder. Get a new folder. Let's just call it. Let's just call this 
waiting Jota now just enter it like this and then you just see like Jota like this then you just have to export it as a JPEG so you export export um, for web legacy Something like this, Jack. Just export. I'm actually new to exporting this way. Just try for the time. I will just go straight and then click on um, Control Shift S and then save, save it as a JPEG. But I find that this might be cool. And then let me just try it out for the person in the story. Oh shit. Like this export, okay. I think it's export as yeah. I think that's it. So the back and the cover will be exported. So you just change your format to JPEG, the cover also to JPEG. I think every other, every other thing is okay. You export and just wait for it to export. Just select this Jota. Export them straight into that uh, folder. So let's quickly check out what's happening. Uh, I'm very sorry, my just a little bit messed up. So, um, wedding jotters. Here is it. I use Picasa to view just so these are the two designs, and you can tell me it's looking simple and beautiful. So um, next up is just actually save, then open a mockup file. Mockup files are files that you can load as PSD files or any other files. Share most of all my mockups are in PSD. I don't really know if there's other um, software that is mockups like this. So um, you just find a mockup, and instead of painting and taking pictures. You just kind of like just use a mock up and put your design in a real life project, like making it look like it's already printed or stuff like that. So, <clears throat> this is the mock up I've done before. So, I'm just going to click on this here and then like click on this. This is, this is the mock up I'm using. This is the and I'm going to show you this how the mockup is going to open if you uh, download one. So here you see cover, you just double click it and then you drag your 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 cover design to it like this. And then since this is a five, I think this one was uh, primarily good for so you just kind of like fit it to the size then save. That's all. It's going to replace it in the former um, file that you saw with it. I mean, previously. So you could see, you could pre uh, present your design like this to your clients, and even if your designs at times are not looking quite great, the mockup might be a bit deceiving, and we give this model feel to it. So your customers will love it. And I think you have enjoyed um, this tutorial talk so far. So I am Jola Graphics. If you love this tutorial, please just do me well by just hitting that subscribe button down there.